A fad is something that becomes insanely popularized, but it is usually short lived. There have been many crazy fads from different generations over the years, but some leave their mark on the world more than others. In this list, I'll tell you guys what I think are the top 10 biggest fads that went away. Let's get right into this list in at number 10 with Crocs. Personally, I didn't fall victim to this fad, but there are other people who did. No judgments here, but these strange and weird looking shoes with holes in them were insanely popular. Regardless of that fact that they were just downright ugly. Okay, maybe I'm just judging a little bit. Regardless, millions of these shoes have been sold because people said that they're light and they're comfortable. And something tells me they're slowly making a comeback. Moving into number 9 spot with MySpace. I know it might be hard for a lot of you guys younger people to believe, but there was once a time where MySpace was one of the most popular social networking sites. It was founded in 2003 during a time when Snapchat or Instagram didn't exist. MySpace was famously known for having its top 8 list where you essentially rate your friends based on how well you like them. So you better stay on their good side because you want to be highly ranked. And if you were ever to fight with your friends, you know you would just remove them or like just downgrade them on that list. And of course, there was Tom, your first friend. AKA, my only friend. Up next, in a number eight, we have wristbands for a cause. I think it's safe to assume that we probably wore that yellow live strong wristband in the past for supporting cancer patients, or just because everyone else was doing it. For whatever the reason, wristbands for a cause were a huge marketing success and made a huge impact. Various other causes have jumped onto this opportunity, producing them for a magnitude of other reasons and in other colors. They were all a craze back in 2008. Four, but you don't really see them around as much today. Now at number seven, we're now talking about Mexican jumping beans. For those of you who have no idea what they are, here's a short clip. It looks pretty cool, right? Wrong. You're totally wrong. Let's find out what makes them jump. Yeah, that's because the beans are actually moth larvae trapped inside seed pods. Yeah, a lot of people didn't know about this when they bought them as pets or toys. When the bean became warm, the larva would twitch and spasm inside of the pod, which would cause the seed to hop. Thankfully, this fad isn't as popular as it used to be. Silly bands brings us to number six. These are rubber bands made out of silicone that formed into shapes such as animals, objects, numbers, and letters when they were taken off. They were actually banned from some classrooms for being too much of a distraction. And some people caused serious injuries by putting too many silly bands on their arms cutting off the circulations. So I guess fortunately this fad is dead although the inventor is trying to revive it. Number 5 brings us to the selfie stick. Now some of you guys might argue that the selfie stick game is still strong but in reality I think it's actually dying down. And one of the reasons is because it's actually being banned in a lot of public places and some of these places are museums. I went to a natural history museum in New York and they wanted to confiscate my selfie stick because they said it's actually dangerous to public safety. I'm pretty sure in airports as well they don't like when you use it there. But how else are we gonna get a large group shot with everyone in it? I mean I can't go go gadget my arms. The Tamagotchi makes this list at number four. This was a handheld digital pet that was created in Japan. It quickly became one of the biggest toy fads of the 1990s. After activating it a small egg appears and it hatches into a pet. A player can care for the pet as much or as little as they choose to and the outcome depends on the player's actions. The pets had hunger, you know they had happiness and discipline meters. That ultimately determined their health. Sadly this fad ended but now we can get a Tamagotchi app on our phones. But it's not the most popular thing. Moving off this list and at number 3 with planking. This was a crazy internet fad that involved people just laying face down in like unknown and unusual sometimes really awkward and dangerous places. Some people even competed to find the strangest places to plank. Planking became very popular in the late 2010 to early about 2011 and this also sparked a lot of controversy. Some people just took this game too far. There was a girl who planked with her head in a toilet and there's even one person who even died after attempted to plank on the railing of a balcony. Coming into number 2 spot is Pogs. Do you guys remember that? The Pog fad soared and peaked in the mid 1990s. It's essentially a game of stacking milk caps face down in a pile and then throwing what we call a slammer onto the stack to hopefully flip over as many pogs as possible. Some schoolyard lunch battles shed some blood when kids would play for keeps. Friends were lost, enemies were gained during a pog battle. Since many childs would keep the pogs that they want during the battles, many schools can 
considered this as gambling and they were ultimately banned from schools all over North America. Hence now, they're a fad. And finally, we made it to the number one spot, we have Furbies. A Furby is an American robotic toy that was released in the 1990s and it became an insanely popular toy. It was because of their ability to develop language skills. At first, Furbies speak in Furbish, which you can't understand, and then as you play and interact with them, they begin speaking English. There was however some controversy surrounding the Furby. It was believed that Furbies recorded what was said around them. Because of this myth, several intelligence agencies, including NASA, has banned them from their offices. Because they don't want some things, you know, out there. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time in a new Most Amazing Top 10 video. You guys should watch my previous video, which is over here. Over here! You guys can watch this video, just click on it, it's annotated. And then the other video that we've done in the past is right over here. You guys can actually click on that, and, oh yeah. Don't forget to subscribe as well. You guys can go right down here. Or you guys you guys can do it a few times, I think. Just, just hit it, over here, subscribe. Okay, that's it for me guys, I don't know what's going on here, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah.